I've often imagined that feeling. What it must have been like to get word that you, that we, were free. What it must have felt like to lay your shovel down and run your thumbs over the calluses of your overworked palms. Did the sun seem brighter? Did your water shed? Did you cry out for those you've loved and lost, those who were sold like black pickup trucks to carry heavy loads and clear paths and take a beating? Did you wrap your arms around anyone? Did you wrap your arms around yourself, ring your spirit and sway and jump and dance jubilee? Did you sing? And if so, did you tuck your work song between your teeth like tough meat and draw from the back of your throat a freedom song? What did freedom feel like on the first day? I've often imagined that feeling, and in my mind, it felt like everything. Like yes and no, and fast and slow, and where do we go from here, and how and where and when, but who was always us, we. Despite what was coming, we will figure it out is what it felt like, I imagine, because we will figure it out is what it feels like now, and that is why we celebrate. How we lift our hands in the middle of hot June and sweat and laugh and signify and dignify and cry and cook and dance and pray and thank you and thank you and thank you again for enduring and ensuring that I, that, that we will now never, ever, ever wait for anyone to tell us we are free.